before this, I honestly would bet all the money in the world against the fact that I could do something like Lucid. I'm kind of frustrated with myself because I never, I always shied away from things like that. You know, I'm a bigger climber. I'm a heavier climber. Um, my fingers have been injured over the past few years, so like I don't feel like I'm like super strong. So I've like always kind of not not really shied away from small cramp problems, but I just don't really like delve into them very hard. But the only way you're gonna get stronger is if you try. I'm also like, I obviously I'm still nervous to try really hard crimper boulders because there's a high percentage that I'll fail. Come on, Jimmy. Oh! Ow. Jesus. I wouldn't say I had like expectations to be able to do it, and maybe that was a good thing. Because the first day I got here, and very first day I did all the moves, which was crazy. Oh my gosh. Come on. Yep, come on. Come on, dude. Up. Come on. Come on. So the very next day you did the problem? Nope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not, it definitely can't just do the boulder. I kind of thought maybe I could, you know? Because right. it's like each individual move, once you get them dialed, I could do each individual move basically 10 out of 10. But to put the two moves together was like insanely difficult for the strangest reasons. It's such a strange problem to do. It's it's easy to do moves, not easy to do moves, but it's easier to do moves, much easier to do single moves on that bullet than it is to put it all together. The rock is extremely glassy. So, you know, when it's super dry out, which it always is, it's like really hard to stick to the holds and to try to find the right condition, when to try, and like how warm your hands need to be, how cold your hands don't need to be. All these things, you know, and it all makes sense why the boulder is A, uh, rarely repeated, and B, the people who have repeated it have taken a long time to do it. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Come on, right now, man. Yes, dude. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, dude. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, Jimmy, keep it 
Yeah, Jamie. See if you can get like further to the side so you can get across them together. There you go. Mm -hmm. Like the reason why I did the boulder like makes almost no sense. <laughs> like worst try, worst condition, sweatiest fingers, tired, tired, like into the sesh, like wasn't even gonna try because I was t it just fell off, and then <laughs> I did it like no reason. It was literally a, a, a no expectation burn. <laughs> yeah. So. Like it, yeah, of course it makes my fingers stronger, like climbing on something like this. But for me, mentally, it's like even bigger of an advantage. Like doing something that you're just like legitimately being like, I don't think I can climb that. And then actually climbing it. For me, mentally, that's massive. To push through something like this and to be able to do it like basically solidifies in my head that like I can do stuff that's like really hard for me. I can do, you know, crimper boulders that are like V15 or maybe even V16 or whatever. You. Yeah, Jimmy. Yay. You. you. Fuck yeah, dude. This is one of those learning experiences for me. And, you know, here I am like 15 years into climbing and still like learning so much every day, so. It's pretty rad. <laughs> Did not expect that to happen. I don't, I don't know how I held on. <laughs> Whatever, yeah. it's done. Yeah. Well, Whatever, dude. So yeah, sick. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking did it. Yeah. So sick. Uh, let's make some brownies. Let's go make some brownies. <laughs> Did you forget? Did you forget? Did you forget? Do you have? Do you have? There it is. Good boy. Oh.